Here, left foot here, right foot is the accelerator, what you used to go, okay. left foot is the brake, which okay. is stop. Please don't press both at the same time. When you're pressing on this, keep your foot completely off the brake. 
braking to completely off this. Okay. Do you have to drive a normal car? Yeah. That might be a problem because braking with your left foot is not something that comes naturally with drivers. Okay. Because you use your right foot for both. Yeah, for everything actually. Yes. Yeah. So, please be very careful that I don't see your foot trying to get here. Okay. Because it will get stuck and whatever you are trying to slow down for, you'll end up hitting with your foot in an awkward position. Be very, very careful about that. Drivers tend to get a bit confused. Because we think we okay. Yeah. And then also because if you drive an automatic car, yeah. your foot is used to resting somewhere. Yeah, of course. So, so for here, we tend to find people stepping on this slightly as they're accelerated. So you'll be braking and accelerating at the same time, which will burn the clutch, which is what I can even smell one of the cars. Someone must Did, have been there. Yeah, okay. I can smell the clutch. It can stall on you on the track, so I'd rather accelerator or brake, never both. Yeah, okay. keep your foot well off the brake when you're accelerating and when you're braking, foot away from this. If you happen to make a mistake on the track, Maybe you end up in the tires. Please don't come out of the car. Raise your hand. If the marshal spots you, we can push you out. Okay. There's no reverse. Okay. Once your 10 minutes is done, you see the black and white tires there? Yeah. That's the entrance to the pits where these guys now have just come in. Okay. Come in really slowly. When you stop, don't get out of the car until we say it's safe to do so. And then, as, as I was telling people, don't that. put your hand. Yeah, it's not, it's, you won't intentionally do it because you want a support. Yeah, to lift for, you up. yeah. People's hands end up touching. Okay. Thank you for that. No problem. Let's go. <laughs> no, not really. Sorry that was just. The state of the suits. Uh, no, no, it's it's, it's okay. okay. It's, it's so okay. It's okay. It's, we it's can doing, work with. It's it's doing what it's meant to do. Of it's course. Protect your like a naked hand. Okay. Yeah. No questions. I think. And then was... also, because your hair is a bit long. This. Yeah, that's why I have not put this. I want to hold my hair so that I can put it on and, and put it in, put it inside. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Put on this. Come, come. So guys, uh, today is the following day and I decided that I'm going to take you guys along with me. I, I'm going to town a bit. Uh, just a bit more guys. A bit more. Yeah, so that's better. So I'm going to town and I decided I'll be taking you guys along with me. I'll just be going do a little bit of errands. I'm thinking of going to Dubois, Dubois. <laughs> 
however you want to call it but i call it dubois so i'm thinking of going to dubois and get a few things i might show you guys then i'm also thinking of no i'm not thinking i'm actually going to pass by i don't know if you guys know of nairobi textile where you buy fabric like in wholesale like this is where all like the fundies the tailors and all go buy um their fabric so i have tailors there so i'm going to take one of my dress for adjustments right here i went for a photo shoot with it and it has a lot of issues but i don't know if you guys can notice so here it is i'm taking it to joy Mark collections they're the ones who made it for me check them on instagram but i'll take you guys along with me Feel uninvited Left home in West LA I'm not excited So uninspired On my way to play the bay While you're alone This girl's a wonder She loves me as yeah, she needs to know I love her I wonder if So guys, it's a bit noisy But um at Nairobi Textile and if you need a suit it's a affordable price yeah I will leave the number on the description box and you can come to Nairobi Textile and have a suit fixed both feminine and masculine so you come to number number 464 but I'll leave his number down below and maybe he can direct you to the shop Guys, we are done with Nairobi textile. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. I'll leave all those shops, guys, where these tailors are, where you can come, shop, and all this. Yeah, get a tailor and at the same time get fabric. So I won't vlog on the street. So I'll see you guys in the next destination. So guys, I managed to get a few things from Duboa Dubois. <laughs> As I said before, you call it how you want to call it, yeah? So I, I went and I managed to get some few things. Let me show you guys. There was one more thing. Huh. So guys, um, before I went to Duboa or Dubois, whatever, before I went to Dubois, I had a budget of around 2,500 and if I exceeded, I had given myself a budget of around 3,000. So I didn't even get to half with this budget. Okay, I did get to half with this budget. It was, I used around 2,300, yeah, just around there. So let me just show you guys what I got. So for my wigs, I really needed this. I always lose this then i got this oh the the wig brush was 200 shillings then i got this comb it's a necessity yeah if you're taking care of you like your natural hair i got it for 30 bob for 30 shillings ah, yeah. so uh -huh. next thing what did i get Focus. yeah so the next thing i got was this 50 ml and it cost me 300 shilling 300 shilling 300 300 shilling that was good so you can see my dog over here is still eating this but then when i left for the salon she reached for my bottle why did you do this mommy why 
anyway she reached for my bottle this is the other thing i got from the boys i think i got this for 50 bob but she's already eaten like the whole thing you see like she's damaged the whole thing so i can't even oh wow okay i think i'll use it it's working it's working i think i'll use it i won't get another one but this is bad Ricky. down anyway i think <laughs> i'll still use it the other thing i bought was nail polish i picked two nail polishes number number one yeah i picked two number 21 and number 10 luron uh i don't know but i think this this is not the best flama for me flama is the best but this is for to go days yeah like for my feet and for the days where i don't have a good manicure this really comes in handy so i got this for how much 72 around that price around that price yeah then the other there was one more nail polish which is colorless and this one also comes in handy uh if you're getting earrings from dubois remember it's either they are gold coated or they are silver coated or they are brass i would ask you to just look for someone who will give you brass earrings because brass earrings don't trust but then when you have silver coated and gold coated which is like most of it even what i'm wearing right now yeah so what i'm wearing right now is gold coated so that means with time it will fade but now this is a secret every time i buy wait, can you see yeah so every time i buy gold coated earrings because i know i don't want to keep on buying earrings so 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 many times what i do is let me share the secret what you do is you take your colorless nail polish and slowly take your time and brush through all your chains all your earrings which are fake okay so this will just give it a longer lifespan mm -hmm. and you save some coins instead of after every like two three weeks you always renew your earrings okay a small remover right here so this one i got it for how much was this one 50 bob this one was for 50 shilling got myself some gloss i got three pairs but before i got home i met with my mom and she picked one pair so i'm already wearing one over here so i'll just go ahead and wear the rest and that's basically it that's it that's all i got from Du Bois. i'm so sorry guys i wouldn't film in Du Bois because i have had an incident before on that Du Bois road where i was wearing a silver chain and because i realized that it was original they plucked it from my neck so i wouldn't risk having my phone in the black market no so i did film my experience in Du Bois road that was the end of our vlog yes so with that said guys that will be the end of our vlog I will see you on the next vlog. Basically, that's it, guys. So that marks the end of our vlog. And with that said, by the way, guys, remember, yes, lockdown has been lifted and all that stuff. But that doesn't mean that COVID-19 has been lifted with the lockdown. Okay, so make sure to stay, to stay safe back at home, guys. And stay safe. Don't forget to live to your fullest, yeah? Because tomorrow is never certain. You can see what COVID is doing, yeah? Tomorrow is never certain. So take advantage. Live to your fullest. Be happy every single day, you know? And thank you very much to everyone who's been watching me, supporting me. Thank you very much for the growth. And till next time, bye.